Hey guys, uh, this next tool I'll go over is the import tool. I already briefly used it in the maps tool, if you, you already saw that video, but I'll just hit it up again. Uh, the import tool is used if you have any sort of file or plugin or image or you know map source or whatever, and you're trying to just add that to ATAC and use it or you know augment ATAC with it, you can use the import tool. So click it, import tool, go to local SD, and then find whatever that thing is. You know, say I want to import those Google map sources again. You're going to choose the things you want and import them. And Android should tell you that, you know, things either worked or they didn't. And now, as if I didn't before, those map sources are in my maps. Or say I want to import, um, you know, that a saved map. I'm going to go to where I saved it and save maps. Click on that bad jammer. And now I have an offline map in Doha. Um, this isn't, you know, this could be a plugin that you downloaded. This could be DTED information you're trying to import, a data package that somebody gave you on a USB drive or something. This is how you just add stuff into ATAC. Um, it seems as if, say I have a picture on my phone and then I import it into ATAC, ATAC will make a copy of that picture and it'll put it in the ATAC file system. Like anything you import will then make be made into a copy inside of this ATAC folder that I really don't mess around with. Um, so you can temporarily, you know, connect the USB drive to your phone, import the thing you need, and then detach the USB drive, and that file will be in your ATAC for forever until you delete it or uninstall it or whatever. Import tool, yeah.